Miles Randolph was a ruthless cheesecake who loathed everyone in the town of Pinewood Land. A miserly outsider, Mr. Randolph only left his mansion to run his toy factory, Randolph Toys Incorporated, which was the largest producer of toys in the world. Miles spent his life amassing his fortune and churning out hate, grief, and gloom to all who crossed his path. Nobody blinked an eye when Miles Randolph's body was found this morning by the staff of his estate. The crime scene was made to appear as if he died from natural causes, but the clever homicide detectives of Pinewood Landing caught on to the news. The question is not if he was murdered, but rather who could have pulled off such a crime. Is the killer an employee of the toy factory, a family member, the butler, or might it be one of the many colleagues he has wronged in the past? The Pinewood Landing detectives have asked for your help to solve the case. Further instructions will be sent to you for the exact time and place that you will meet with the team who are assigned to solve this case. You should be aware everyone assigned to delve into the case was associated with Miles Randolph, as he had numerous ties to many networks around the world. It would be dangerous for you not to attend, as the others might consider your absence a confession. This is where your story begins. So as we heard, Miles Randolph was murdered. And one of you did it. I am determined that I'm gonna figure out who did it. As the leading detective in Pines in the city, it's my duty to find out which one of you low life people, you low life scuzzbug, you piece of garbage person took the life of Miles Randolph. All of you are suspects, so none of you are innocent. Each of you had a reason to kill Miles. But since you all claim you don't know each other, I'm gonna ask you to introduce yourselves. I'll start off with Miles' trusted driver. Greetings, everyone. My name is Rogue Metz. I have been a faithful driver for Miles Randolph for five years. I am married, have a baby girl, six months old. And I, I recently had to have my parents move away because their jobs got shut down. So I'm a little sad that they don't get to see their granddaughter. But I'm very faithful to Mr. Randolph, who's with him every day. And I certainly didn't do it. Likely story, likely story. How about you, Hartley High? Hartley High is silent. We're waiting for Hartley High to speak. Hartley High has decided not to say anything. So now we're gonna go to Adi Lovejoy. Adi, introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. I'm Adi Lovejoy. I'm a chiropractor. Um, and I am a neighbor of Dr. Miles Randolph. We've been neighbors for a while, and we have had many disputes over time. So I'm not surprised to see his demise. Are chiropractors real doctors? I mean, they're in the mall. I mean, you call yourself doctor, but 
I mean, really? I mean, they not, they don't go to medical school or anything. I mean, what, what do they do? Basically, manipulations. I mean, come on. Well, we can't crack backs if that's what you're asking. And yeah, we get paid good a, money to do so. But we're not, you're not a doctor. You're just a backcracker. I mean, that's pretty much what you are. Many have the title of a doctor and we question it. I'm just part of that group. Mm -mm -mm. Hartley, are you ready to introduce yourself? My name is Hartley Hines. Uh, Miles was my cousin. I am the youngest of three boys, which are one year apart from each other. Um, I'm a humanitarian who organized with receiving pay such as Quince Jones Blindness Foundation, Safe Water, um, people against parasites, people against mistreatment of animals, and more. And I fought for these rights. Uh, and I, I'm be honest with you, I'm not happy about Miles' decision not to give raises to the hardworking employees of the factory for five years in a row. Um, and he did file a restraining order on me. Um, to keep me out of the presidential suite of his company. Um, and he did, he even threatened to terminate all my employees, but yeah, it wasn't enough to kill him. Y'all got some likely stories. Brighton Bixby. Brighton, Brighton, Brighton. Brighton, we can't hear you. Here I am. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm 54 years old. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology. I went to the University of Oklahoma and then got a master's degree in forensics psychology. Smart, right? <sighs> I'm very ambitious. Uh, hold on. Um, I knew him growing up as Miles was good friends, um, with, um, my older brother. Um, um, let me see here. A year before Miles even aspired to open Randall's toys, Brighton or myself and Miles designed a stuffed toy that had plastic pieces inside resembling organs that can be removed and put back like a puzzle to teach kids anatomy. It's called Full of Guts Doll, a toy, uh, a toy that Mouse filed a trademark and patent on behind, behind my back, not giving any credit to me. The toy is so all over the world till this day. And Miles refused to acknowledge that not only was the toy my original idea, but, but also had a heavy hand in the design and manufacturing of the photo type. I stopped speaking to Miles Randall upon finding the toy in a toy store a couple of years after Randall Toys was operational. Oh, right. Mm, mm, mm. Our next suspect. Jingle, jingle, jingle all the way. Introduce yourself to the group. I don't appreciate the tone in your voice because it's making me sound like I'm a crook. Hold on, I need coffee. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> My name is Evan Jingle. I am 40 years old, no kids. Yeah. Never married to cats that I don't really like. I am married to my work. I'm an attorney. I don't lose cases. I outwork everyone. And I, unlike these other losers in this group, 
am the one who cared the most about Miles. I was his confidant. He didn't trust anyone else. And let me just say this before anyone thinks it, I didn't kill the guy. He was half of my business. If I kill him, I'm killing half my business because all I care about is the bag anyway. In fact, there was an impending case against one of you and had Miles not been murdered, that case would have gone through and I would have won. But that's all I have to say right now. Sade Hitchcock, same last name as Alfred, but you didn't direct any great movies. Oh my gosh. Sade, or Shade, introduce yourself. Yes, my name is Shade Hitchcock. My mother worked for Mr. Randolph quite a few years ago. And after a long run of managing the local movie house, which I did very well, despite the unruly nature of the town. Uh, when Mr. Randolph's former butler passed away, my mother suggested me to him. It worked well, and I have been running the mansion as a well oiled machine since. I do believe I am the most valuable employee there, and I would like, uh, I would like him to hire some more staff because I am getting a little tired of these long work hours seven days a week. Mm, mm, mm. But that is all I have to say, except that I am very saddened that my employment is now ended with the life of Mr. Randolph. Mm, seems to me was his death that gives you less time, more time to pursue your hobbies. Hmm. As detective, the smartest detective, the greatest detective, the only detective that ever matters. I'm now instructing you all to go to the round one materials. You will now each try to figure out which one of the other ones did it. Was it you? Are you putting blame on someone else to cover your own tracks? Who do you think did it? Anybody can speak. Will he shoot? Yes, I'm detective Willie Shoot. Thank you very much. No, you asked who did it. Willie Shoot is not a suspect, as Willie Shoot is with the police department and would never dishonor the badge by killing someone. Never, ever <clears throat> would Willie Shoot ever commit such a heinous, atrocious crime. But one of you would, and one of you did. I'm half reading by my uh, biology, and I think I did it. If you think you did it, why Shit. would you say yourself when you should be saying someone else? You, hey, you got to prove it, but still, I'm just like, dude, you, you got everything to gain from this. With him. That's a confession. Oh, uh, we got a confession coming. You still got to prove it, but... Man. Yeah, it's over. You found the person. He said no, he we did quite not yet. So Jingle says she has... Evan says she has a confession. Hey. No. He confessed. That should be the end of it. Because this I know I didn't do it. All is, I know mm -hmm. is that someone served... Poor Miles T. Shay did it. That poisoned him. And my feeling is that the only one who would serve him tea is Shady Shady Hitchcock. Speaking yeah. of Shay did it. I will have you know the master had his dinner at five, his cinnamon tea at seven. And that point I retired. The coroner said he did not die until 10. And we can give you enough time. That man should die for just having cinnamon tea. The forensic report is coming <laughs> next. And the forensic report that I've prepared will explain how this all happened because some of your guesses either 
you're extremely stupid or why do you have to be stupid? I oh, do yeah. not appreciate that. Or you're a <laughs> genius. Oh, oh, I'm just a neighbor. Or you would know if I'm I stupid will sue or not. you, Willie Shoot. Or you're throwing shade. Or under the bus. Yes. yes. There is shade under the bus. So Room. that's fine. Yeah. I don't care what your first, I don't care what your title name is, Willie. You're Willie from me from this point on through the rest of this game, Willie. Now what you gonna do, Willie? Willie is going to share the forensic report, which okay, somehow Willie. hardly knew. How did Harley start asking questions about things that he did not know? But we shall read the forensic report. And I am the one that repaired has prepared the forensic report. I have dusted for fingerprints on the box of the tea bags. The tea bag used to make the poisonous cinnamon tea, the teapot, and the teacup on the victim's bed table. This is what I found. There were no fingerprints on the um, tea bag. The box was white clean. But Sage Hitchcock had fingerprints on both the tea bag and the teacup. Mm -hmm. And Miles's fingerprints were only on the teacup. I have dusted fingerprints all over the mansion and didn't find any fingerprints that were to be found to be unusual. The autopsy states that the cause of death was a lethal dose of that word right there from Autumn Corolla's bug. The victim died at 10 p.m. last night with nothing found on his stomach. I also found the substance residue in the victim's stomach, the teapot, the teacup that was on the victim's bedside. Our team found a purchase order of the newly planted autumn crocus, among other flowers and ornamentals in the flower beds of Randolph Toys Incorporated. But no autumn crocus plants at the Randolph Estate. More than half of the autumn Caracas plants were unearthed and removed from the flower beds at the toy factory within 48 hours. One of you all knew what you were doing. Well, see, what? that right there proves it. I've never been to the toy factory. So there's no way I would have gotten those flowers to do that. Somebody obviously planted it in the tea. You did. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. People, you all have motives. I mean, if you just would look on your reports that I would prepare, you'll see your motive. Each of you clearly mm -hmm. had some sort of motive. And we're gonna, I'm gonna figure this out. I I think I know who did it. I, I drink coffee and wouldn't touch a tea box. Likely story. Just likely. Well, so you I do believe I should be paid more than the driver, but that's hardly a case for murder. Mm -mm -mm. So you will all need a sheet of paper to play this verse to decipher who killed Miles. You'll need a sheet of paper to decipher who killed Miles, and I'll share my screen just so you'll know where I'm doing that. So Soon as I bring my screen up for us to for you all to see, hopefully you're getting your sheets of paper together because you will definitely need them. At least the driver has skills. Well, sometimes, sometimes the ones that are the quietest. Yeah. Oh, Odie, lovely joy. I smell murder and I smell a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. If anyone's feelings have been hurt neighbor, during this process, I will represent I'm just you in case. a neighbor and but you I, just, do I mean you're his neighbor. Like that. You could have just like leaked that. right in here, planted the coffee, framed. No, I would not do that. We've been neighbors for over a decade. I mean, I did have some issues with him where 
Uh huh. Keep talking. You know, I was accused of poisoning a dog or two, but what? I, oh, I do. Do we say oh, wait a minute, we got a dog poisoning oh, animal. I would, I would oh, do no, that to we got a dog poisoning in the house. I was accused of that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that. Okay, I got you. Got you. Several it's dogs. Not just one government. dog. Was she accused of? But the attorney, it's attorney Jingle, I would question because we have pending litigation going on. So I I don't trust him. I'm saying, excuse me, why would I kill my client who's going to pay me big bucks to bury you and win the case? You're all about winning, right? And he Exactly, was and wrong. I want my clients to lie. He was wrong. Uh, I that girl is. I think Brighton. Uh, I think Brighton and Shay are extremely quiet in the drama. Yeah, it's these two. Hasn't said anything yeah, even the last five minutes. So I'm just saying, all y'all, all y'all are fishy to me. All now, me. detective, you need to get this going because I I got other things going on, and I think you mean like attorney is murder? shady. The you attorney mean, is shady. You mean but, like covering murders? Listen no, here, the attorney is covering. Hey, well, I'm quiet to you, Willie. So I'm quiet because I want to figure this out, Willie. Don't worry about me, Willie. Willie is, the, I'm the detective. I'm the Nancy Drew of this town. I but am the one that's going to solve this case. Me. Willie from high school. <laughs> this is the first clue that I found. Can you decode it? I will give you five minutes to look at that and see, are you smart enough? Are you smart enough to decode this? You have five minutes. Can you decode this? Are you smart enough? I don't think you are. I know what the letters could stand for. <laughs> mm -hmm. Brighton is pretending to be really not smart. I really think Brighton may have a good reason for killing Miles. Nope. Write the clues down, I would suggest. Try your best to decode them. This is a major clue. You could talk like that through the rest of the show. I have no idea what this is. People who wait until the last minute to show up are really making themselves look suspect. I told you I made you one. <laughs> but I still don't know what this is. I just see some numbers and some hieroglyphics at the bottom and I don't know that, what it is. That says Mama Say, Mama Sa, Mama Kusa. Uh, I know what it said. What the third one says. Billy Jean did it. The third one says murder rogue. So obviously he was going to kill his driver. If she knew that, there was obviously enough reason to kill him. Why would he kill me? You're paying too much. Mm -mm -mm. Since none of you are smart enough to figure this out, I'm going to stop and take this, stop this brutality. Why are we accused of not being smart enough? You the detective, are you smart enough is the question. That's what I'm saying. Why I got to be smart enough? Why? why am I being smart enough? I graduated from Yale. I'm a chiropractor. I'm a doctor. Chiropractors are not yeah. doctors. Hurry, hurry up, Willie. I got a company to run. Let's go. Yeah, speaking of company, you ran that your company pretty badly, didn't you? Partly. I was a COO. I was fighting for my employees. Mm -hmm. And you worked with Miles how long was that? I don't know, really. Again, why am I doing your job? You know what to do. You know. Now, say... Someone has the DNA results, your DNA results. And if that person would just read, 
the packet that they should have read instead of waiting until the last minute, then they would know what results they have and should be accusing you at this time. It appears that Sage's mother, Shade's mother was an interior decorator. And you know who she was an interior decorator for? Shay, do you know who she was an interior yes. decorator? That's how she was working with my, with Miles Randolph. Oh, did you say your father? Did no. you see your father? What? My mother worked with Miles Randolph. Did we she know? That's him? why you're here. Or did she work with him? Mm -hmm. mm. I think Evan has something to say about this because with Miles B. dead and Shane allegedly being Miles' child, he would get an inheritance, would he not? He would have a really For good the movie. record, everything is sealed. I am the sole heir. Mm. So maybe you and Shade conspire to kill Miles and split the money. I would never knowingly engage in such behavior. Mm -mm. Oh, I had nothing to do with this. Seems to me that, Evan, you were jealous of Shade and Miles' relationship. And Brighton hasn't said anything. Brighton is making herself look really guilty right about now. That's not true. How come? I mean, Brighton. I didn't kill him. I did not kill him. But he you had a motive. Yeah, but it's not worth me going to prison forever over over a patent or a toy, whatever. Uh, we, we, he stole we your invention, yours. You were hard It's not worth me going to prison over. Mm -hmm. Likely story. Likely story. I didn't do it. Miles. I think Mr. Shade here is a number one, my number one suspect. Mm -mm -mm. Attorney Jingle, it would be really great if you could come up with some kind of severance package for the employees of the mansion. Well, at the moment, because of the murder of my dear friend, everything is frozen. I would love to do that. But in the meantime, we must catch his murder. Who is but, not me, by the way. Why do you keep saying that it's not you, by the way? Because a certain incompetent sheriff keeps accusing me of being one. I see no sheriff. I see no sheriff. I see a detective. You're I absolutely see right. No sheriff. I see no sheriff either. You're exact. Thank you. <laughs> I rest my case. Now you see why I get paid millions. You confessed to not being a real sheriff or a law. I enforcement. never proposed to be a fake one. Are you serious? Now, look here, attorney person. I mean, you say you graduated from Yale, but did you really? I mean, <laughs> You was out here and stuff, but did you really graduate? And, and what rank were you? Were you in the lower half or the higher half? Or just I was in the half that got a degree. You were in I the my middle, JD. right? You're I always my JD. in the middle. You're not an exceptional attorney. You're not an exceptional lawyer. I mean, you work for miles for goodness sake. And rogue. You drove the man every single day. You knew what kind of stuff he was up to. You knew and you didn't say anything. And I want to know why. I was a trusted confidant. But I Evan says she was his confidant. Which one of you was the confidant? Well, I would like to say at this point, I know what the first thing he had on his to-do list was. It was to fire Hartley. Yep, that's right. Harley was getting ready to get that W-2 or W-9 or X-10 or whatever they call it. Let, let's make one thing perfectly cl clear right here. If I have a problem with the boy, 
I'm going up to him and say it to him his face. I ain't got to sleep behind his back and do anything to his tea to kill him and everything else. Esau. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Harvey sounds like he came from the hood. That's what Harvey sounds I'm like. I, look, I already been kicked out of this office one time and escorted back to my floor and everything else. So obviously, it's unproven oh, that I was had an altercation before. Ah, so you two had an altercation. Yeah, I ain't like him. He ain't like me. But you were. I definitely don't like his lawyer. Oh. oh. I wouldn't take that, Evan. I wouldn't take it. He know I don't like him. What did I do? He could kill you like mm -hmm. he killed Miles, like she killed Miles. All right, look here, Willie. Let's go. So, <laughs> but as a great detective as I am, I have found another clue that Miles left. As a matter of fact, I have two. He left another cryptic message and I'm going to share my screen and please don't be like the last time where you couldn't figure it out you should know these things you're the detective you should know these things let, let me ask you let me ask you something Willie if we got to be smart enough to figure out this murder why why are you here okay. We need because to Willie the is the host, the and as the host, I can do whatever I want to do. Oh, so now you're the host. Okay. okay. <laughs> Many of life's problems are solved by reading. Caesar used the shift key twice. Pigs should live in a pig pen. When in doubt, alphanumerics. Those are clues that you left. Do you know what those clues mean? Harley probably doesn't. But do you know what they mean? I'll let you look at it another minute. And when I say who I think did it, you all are going to be just so surprised. But in a few seconds, I'll let you all make your last educated guess about who you think did it. Many of life's problems are solved by reading. Caesar used the shift key twice. Pigs should live in a pig pen. When in doubt, alphanumerics. Those are the clues. But Miles also left this. And notice the orientation. If you pay attention to this section right here, you should know or have a clue as to who did it. I will stop sharing. Hmm. I still think it was shade. Ah, that's that's a long oh thing. Get this up here. So I got some more questions. I got some questions for Brighton. He stole your invention and you're not mad about it. You're not angry about it. You not just really. you didn't hire Evan to sue. Or maybe because Evan was so loyal to Miles that she would never take you on as a client. Yeah. I didn't care about him stealing my invention. So you were fine with him stealing I mean, it? I was mad, but it wasn't worth killing him. Mm -mm -mm. And Adi. Adi has been so very, very quiet. Hasn't said too much of anything. I am too smart to play your games, detective. I had issues with him, but oh. we got them resolved. But you tried to poison the dogs. And not one dog, several dogs. But two. You know what they say about serial killers? They start with animals and then they bump up to people. Him. That shows a pattern. Key word was dog, not human. 
But you start with animals and move to humans. No, that's what you did. You did that. You did it. You killed them. Mm No, 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 no. And again, I ask you, chiropractors are not doctors. I never been in this house at all. Even though we were neighbors, I never went that far to go into his house. So that would take me off the list right there. You killed, you poisoned allegedly several dogs, several. And Shay, I'm still questioning you. I mean, you were his right hand man. You took care of that whole house seven days a week. He never let you have time off. And his cousin, cousin my behind. Mm-mm-mm. I found a leather bound book. And I'm going to read a page out of that book. And then I'll let you all say who you think did it. Today is a new day, my mother said as she swept open drapes. Do I have to go, mom? I said. My eyes stung as the sun rays flooded into the back of my eyes. I gave a few hard blinks and then bolted upright in my bed. My mother smiled, her teeth in two perfect rows for five years of wearing orthodontic braces in her teenage years. She nodded with a soft giggle. Then she whisked into the hallway and marched into the kitchen. The day of my high school graduation had arrived. I worked myself into an academic frenzy only to become a hair short of being named the valedictorian of my graduating class. Monica Johnson has snagged that honor even after conceding a month ago that it would be me. The entire student body had already congratulated me, but it came down to one exam. I had failed myself, but instead of wallowing in my dismay, I wanted to move on, pack up for college, and forget about my botched school status. I had already been accepted into Harvard, so what did it really matter? I had been a better person who handed over the speech that I had worked over all year to Monica. I knew she hadn't written a speech, Nobody at a school could believe it would be her standing at the podium in front of a thousand smiling students, all wearing graduation caps. Throwing my feet off the bed and onto the floor, I dodged a building block that my two-year-old brother left in the bedroom the day before. Maybe the bathroom to jump to a steamy shower. Blasting the radio, I tried to immerse and be enduring to a few hours that had lined up behind the stage in the gymnasium. I replayed my father's voice, droning on about how my DNA dictated to the rise to the top. And because of that, I was never to settle for being average. I had let him down in the worst way of management. If there had been a fast pace, fast forward button, I would have pushed it and skipped that day. I threw on my clothes and made my way down the stairs. There was a rumbling of voices landing with giggles, which was not norm in our quiet household. As I ran to the bottom of the staircase, I grasped for air as my eyes landed on a room full of familiar faces. Monica Johnson stood at the front with a huge smile on her face and a leather bound book in her hand. The group cheered and shouted good morning at their own pace. I swallowed in a lump on my throat, steadied by my pounding heart with my heart with my heart in my hand. My first thought was that my parents had arranged a celebratory breakfast for my academic competitor. I had to pack away the sadness, mummy in the core, and force a grin on my face. I know who that sounds like. That sounds like Miles had something else on a certain attorney who supposedly graduated from Yale. 
but it appears it may have been ben. from Harvard. That's right. Yep. Evan. And Miles was her father? Was Miles your father? Evan? <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen. <laughs> um, okay. I will admit that I had access to the, man the mansion, the factory, and I, I knew a lot of what was going on in the man's life, but I didn't know everything. Even I could admit that. Now, I don't know what this, this page is. That's not my name. Monica? Harvard? Wise? Well, folks, this is the end of the mystery. The police are waiting. And now I will give you the answer to the puzzles. And for those of you that doubted that I, Detective Willie Shoots, is the smartest detective that there ever was, ever will be. I doubt it. Never is. You will now know that she is the greatest of all time. Let's she, go home, home, before the before the person gets to what? Yeah, because they're already gone now. Because she. No, got the they're still in the room. They are still in the room. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So we're going to look at the to-do list or if you, and we'll tell you what it is. So, okay, hold on just a moment. And I brought up the wrong thing. Oh, there it is. I will read the answers because I cannot share two screens at once, unfortunately. They didn't give the, me a great detective a large computer. They just gave me whatever they had on hand. So I will share my screen and share the answer. This was the first list. The numbers that confused Hartley because he said he didn't even know what these numbers meant. It says Fire Hartley, the first set of numbers. That is correct. So, the coordinates in green, this row right here, this row right here, I'm like, wait a minute. are saying block the DNA test. Now, why would somebody deny their father become his attorney once you block the DNA test? But there was another clue, if you look down here. And it said on the second page, which will, I will not bring up, that on the don't forget notes in round two, the line says many of life's problems are solved by reading. This is a clue that the passage in the book will help solve one of two problems, albeit it will become obvious by viewing the book passage in round two that you were given four coordinates. You count the lines down in the first coordinate, not including the title, and then count the words across from the second coordinate. Therefore, if you count down to line 21 and over 14, it's locked, B-L-O-C-K, and so forth, and three coordinates. The clue strengthens Shade's motive of revenge for the father who, who never cared for himself. So Shade somehow didn't do it. Shade is totally innocent. I but, told you that Butler didn't do it. But Shade is going to tell us who he thinks did it. He must name one person and give <clears throat> a clear motive about why he thinks that one person did it. 
Well, I believe it was Hotly. He was going to be fired. All his dreams were going to go away. So, of course, he took out his begrudged sibling. Hardly. What do you say to those accusations? <laughs> I ain't going to listen to no butler. <laughs> but did you all know that the DNA test wasn't referring to Evan? And even though he didn't do it. Shade is probably Miles's child. I knew it. Yep. Shade might have actually picked up the fact that Miles knew, which could have clearly given him a motive, but it was not Shade that did it. Shade is innocent. Two saying. Not only am I isn't as innocent, uh, but I'm the rich. The door. No, so the blue bow, is that a blue? So there's two other on the top in the refrigerator. And we need Brighton oh, to put bowl herself on mute. That was mine. And then there's a blue bowl in there. Yes, we know the there's a blue paper. bowl. So we need Brighton to put herself. But you know who else is innocent? Hardly is innocent. Hardly was not seen. At Miles's home, but I'm gonna give Hartley a chance to say who he thinks did it. The attorney. Oh, so you think Evan did it? Yep. Absolutely not true. Why? Why did you? Why do you think Evan did it? Because I don't like her. <laughs> I don't care if you don't like me. <laughs> I don't give a rat's black side when you don't like me. <laughs> hey. I like him. I had I nothing like to do with it. I had <laughs> access to the house. True. I worked closely with Miles on a number of things. True, including court cases. Mm -hmm. But the man didn't tell me every single thing. I work hard for my clients. I don't work hard to kill them. But you know who else is also innocent? Adi. Adi, the fake doctor, is innocent guilty of not being a doctor because chiropractors are not doctors but innocent of Miles's murder Adi who do you think did it I think Brighton Bigsby did it has the background to know some things about being a criminal so I think Brighton did it Oh, well, Brighton isn't here to defend herself, so that's kind of looking suspect. <laughs> well, Bruce, I'm going to give you a chance to say who you think did. Hold on, I'm trying to fix my camera. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Brighton can't figure out how to fix her camera. <laughs> oh, likely story. <laughs> Tracy, did, I mean, Detective Willie, did you do something to my camera? No. You can just go ahead and speak who you think did it. We can hear you just fine. Harley did it. Harley is innocent. Harley has been just deemed innocent. Harley did not do it. As has Audie and I, Shay. And no, Shay and Audie didn't do it. So that leaves yeah. only two people. Oh, you got their drinks. Yeah. No, we don't have the drinks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I I it. It's, it's tea. It's tea. 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 Tea that you apparently use. But Brighton has yet to say who she thinks. No. Well, maybe she killed them. We should probably go to Brighton last because Brighton did. Well, Folks, I'm not going to keep you all long. I want to thank you all, even though you're the most disgusting, trifling people <sighs> I have ever met in my entire life. Why are we I so rude? Why are we so rude? I feel the love. Why are we so rude? You have aggrieved my spirit. I have been called a fake sheriff, and I don't appreciate it. Well, we were called some names, too, uh, Detective. 
If you was on your uh, job, we would have uh, had this discussion. Uh, 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 we uh, were called uh, stupid. That's, that's Willie. Willie, who did it then? Well, I had to give Brighton her chance to say and make it quick because I, I got mean, the police on outside. Okay. Well, I don't care where they are. It wasn't me. <laughs> well, who do you think did it? <laughs> the police must be arresting Brighton now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're going to skip over to Rogue because Brighton is just refusing to talk. Rogue, who do you think did it? Well, that must be Evan. It was Could Rogue. Evan is innocent. I as I have said throughout this ridiculous I tell you now who did it. As I stated, I called the police and they're outside waiting to get the killer. You might have thought Hartley did it, but Hartley never went to the mansion. Otto Lovejoy was a good person of interest, but again, Adi never stepped foot on the property. Shade his cock was too obvious. Nobody would think that that sick head would leave a trail of clues so Shade rules out. I can see a couple of other good guesses, but if you selected Rogue, you are correct. Rogue oh. killed Miles. And how did Rogue do it? Mm. Rogue is a genius. Can I offer you some calming? Cinnamon tea detective? No, Rogue. We don't want any the of your tea ever. Rogue <laughs> knew pretty, knows pretty much everything. One morning, Rogue was dropping off miles to the to toy factory. Rogue noticed a freshly plant flower bed that contained the poisonous plants. But mm. not so fine that the poisonous was extracted. So after seeing the plants, Rogue slipped off in the middle of the night the toy factory, pulled out a few bulbs, extracted the poison, and soaked them in the tea bag in the kitchen with the poison. Ro forgot to put on her gloves after touching the tea bags, but grabbed some of the chef's disposable ones before grabbing the fatal tea bag. That's why the box was wiped clean of prints. Only Shade's prints were on the tea bag. Rogue had been blackmailing Miles Randolph over a year. Miles was getting tired of it and was launching a plot to kill Rogue to solve the problem. Rogue knew about this. And with blackmail payments coming to a halt, Rogue knew it was time to be, time to be killed or be killed. Rogue tried to blame the crime on the butler, but everybody knows that's a downright cliche. Yep, this case is closed. Thank you for your participation. Okay, here, here's right. my <laughs> I want to thank everybody on this um, fun game. Did everybody have a good time? I did. Yeah. I did. I, I just didn't appreciate game. not being called real doctor and stupid. But but someone is offended. Right did I don't a appreciate that. But did you have a good time? Next time you need to bring yes. snacks up. Yeah. Right. That's important. I mean, not Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching this. I have done this a couple. I did this a couple years ago. Decided to do it this year. But next year, won't be doing it. And that's because I'll be in the lovely city of Paris, France for my big 5-0. There's no way I can do that here. So we'll probably, we may do this another murder mystery game. If people like it, I could do this later on this year, but I'm not promising anything. So can I make, for, a, can I make one suggestion? Yes. Uh, can you find somebody who died that we actually cared dead? Um, see, Marlon, I was very <laughs> asking cool. where we can <laughs> find you, but now I'm not. So everybody watching this video, you can find me at tracymediallc.com like my page subscribe to my page i am 898 subscribers away from a thousand finally got to 100 
but we a thousand is the goal. Eight hundred and ninety eight away. Go to Tracy Media LLC dot com. You'll see a ton of videos where you can subscribe. Remember to like this video, share this video, um, make comments on this video. Again, I want to thank everybody, especially Anna, because I, I was like, she's like, should I be there? I was like, it's very important that you be here. It's very important, as she is the one that did it. Well, not her, it was Ro, but she did a great job. So thank you all for taking it. Who's not going to subscribe to your show? <laughs> Say that again. I can tell you who's not going to subscribe to your show. Oh, Red Dog. Oh my they, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they just love making fun of me. That's the thing. Is that the only place we can find you? Or those the only place? Tracy Media LLC is the best place to find. The best place to find you. The best place. Because the best all, place. yes, all my links are there, all my videos are there. Um, and I can't remember my YouTube channel name, but everything's there. So when I can't, can't look it up right quick. I mean, I'm trying Tracy to Carson. Is yeah, if you type in Tracy Carson, it will come up. But how my, you spell that? <laughs> wow. TracyMediaLLC.com is the best place Man. to find my videos. Best I'm just place. trying to find you. Okay. Yes, that is the best place. That's where you'll find my Instagram. That's where you'll find my Pinterest. That's where you'll find my LinkedIn. That's where to find me. Tracy. Don't Mary. just look up Tracy Carson on YouTube or anything. You will not find her. You sure won't because there's a whole bunch of Tracy Carson. Tracy. Well, when you get lost, just put yourself in the lost and found area and I'll find you. Tracy Media LLC. Again, thank you to everybody who did this to celebrate my 49th birthday. Woo! Happy birthday. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see everybody January 17th for our interview with Kat, Kate Sullivan of the Forward Party. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.